Let's solve this equation for x. First, let's move all of our terms to one side. I think I'm going to go ahead and write so that we have decreasing powers of x. That's x to the 6 minus x to the 4th minus x squared plus 1 is equal to 0. And no like terms that I can combine. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. How might I try factoring a 4-term polynomial? Well, we can try by grouping. In these two terms, I have a common factor of x to the fourth. If I factor it out, I have left x squared minus 1. What about in these two terms? Well, let's see. I can factor out a negative 1, and if I do so, notice I'll have x squared minus 1 left. x squared minus 1. One. Now, I haven't factored yet, but in these two terms, notice there's a common factor of x squared minus 1. And then if I factor it from here, I have x to the fourth, and from here, minus 1 equals 0. So far, I've factored, but I haven't factored completely, so let's keep factoring. This is the difference of two squares, so this factors as x plus 1 times x minus 1. Then this is the difference of two squares. This factors as x squared minus 1 times x squared plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, amazingly enough, I had a factor of x squared minus 1 before, and I have another one again. So I'll go ahead and do this, but there's really no need to because I've taken care of those factors by already having those factors in this polynomial. I'm now factoring this difference of two squares, x plus 1, x minus 1, and I still have x squared plus 1 equals 0. Now, I'm going to let you do this. You will set each factor equal to 0, but if you set this factor equal to 0, it gives an answer of negative 1. If you set this factor equal to 0, you have an answer of 1. If you set this factor equal to 0, you have negative 1, but you already have it written as an answer, so you get no additional solutions here. This equal to 0, you get 1. Now, we should set x squared plus 1 equal to 0, because then what happens? We have x squared is equal to negative 1, and then using that square root property, x is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 1, which is plus or minus i. So my goodness, what are our solutions? We have negative 1, we have positive 1, we have positive i, and we have negative i. And there are our four solutions to our equation.